Hi, this is Miss Lavodi, and in this video, we'll be creating Kahinde Wiley inspired digital paintings. We're going to go from this photo to this digital painting using Tayasui Sketches Pro. Begin with a photograph of yourself in an empowered pose. Then import your photo by using the three dots at the top and then the down arrow and then click photo. Place your photo and scale it to the size you want and click the check mark at the bottom of the screen. Open the layers sidebar by clicking the stack of paper icon in the top right hand corner. Click the gear icon in the picture layer and slide the opacity scale down so your photo becomes lighter. This will help you draw over it more easily. Click the plus sign in the layers box to add a new layer over your photo. Then you're going to select a brush of your choice and create a contour line drawing over your portrait. From here, I'm clicking the three dots at the top of the menu of Tayasui Sketches, clicking photo, and then I am selecting the photograph that I want to use for this project. I will click the check mark, and then I will open up my layers icon and change the opacity so my photo is a little more faded out. This lets me draw over it more easily so I could see my lines. Clicking the plus sign to create a new layer is very important. You always want to make sure that you're drawing on the separate layer and never directly on your photo layer. Choose a brush that you would like to work with to create your contour line drawing. And you can change the color to black. And you can use the little sliding scale icons to change the size of your brush. Now you're ready to add a new layer and drag it under your contour line drawing. Then you could pick a brush of your choice and add color to your portrait or figure drawing. So I've colored in the shirt and the hair and the skin tone already. Um, so I'm just kind of adding some finishing touches here on the hair. So you could see how I blend different brushes together, different colors. You could play with the transparency of the colors. Be as creative as you want with your painting. You can make your painting as realistic as you'd like. You can toggle back and forth between using the eraser tool as well, so that way you can clean up any color that might have gone outside of your edges of your contour line drawing. And since this is in a separate layer, you shouldn't really have to worry about erasing or deleting other colors you've already placed in your drawing. So now you can merge your layers together when you're done with your color. You merge your layers by dragging and holding the top layer and then releasing it over the layer you want to merge it with. So I take the top contour line, I drag it and hold it over the other layer and then release it. It'll prompt you to click merge. When you click merge, all of your photos will be on one layer. You're still keeping it separate from your photo layer, which should be hidden. Next to work on the background, you're going to add a new layer and import a photo of an image or symbol that you would like. Change the opacity of that image again and layer it over um, with a new layer to paint the image. So here I have a new layer. Now I'm clicking the three dots again. I'm going to bring in my next picture. Um, notice that I've moved the um, layers underneath my drawing of my portrait because I want these images to be behind my portrait so I can move and scale. I'm not sure why it ended up duplicating that, <laughs> so I'm just gonna work with it here. <laughs> so these are in a separate layer behind my drawing layer and I'm going to change the opacity again and I can move or scale them and place them where I'd like. From here I can have another layer on top of this so that way I can add color. I'm trying to play around with the watercolor brush but you can use any brush that you'd like to add color to the image you brought into your project for your background.
Once everything's colored in on that separate layer, you can now duplicate that layer and use it in other areas of your composition to repeat it. So you click the gear icon, click duplicate, and then you select that layer and you can use the transform tool. It looks like a little uh, cross cursor and you can move your items around. You can also use the uh, knife tool to lasso around your drawing and you can move it that way as well so you can repeat or move things. Repeat this process and bring in any other pictures to use in your background and paint over them. Remember to go back and hide any photos that you have under your drawing or painting layers and you can even delete them if you needed to. And now the last thing I'm doing is I'm going to copy and duplicate this flower so I can use it to fill up some negative spaces. You can continue to fill up the background space with your pattern or you can add a new layer underneath all of your other layers and you can add a color to your background as well. You can save your work by clicking the three dots at the top and then click the up arrow and save your work to your camera roll. Congrats on finishing your project.